What's going on, guys? I'm back at you again, and let's go over this Philadelphia Cardinals game. So now, Philly's got the ball. They do a fake. My DN, obviously, late to the play. But where's the guy's man that caught the ball? Oh, he's running into the block and pretending that he can't move. But the guy's holding his shoulder pads like there's no tomorrow and nothing gets called? Oh, how convenient. Now let's watch our end right here. Just not really rush in. Look at our block. Look at our defenders running in the blocks. Look at this guy. Why would you run inside on that? Run to the outside of the block. You're never taught to run inside of a block. Because that's what happens. You can't get outside the block when you need to contain the outside. You want to force everything inside where all your players are. Not outside where no one is. Unless you're right on the brink of the sideline. Now, I actually like this view that we have. It's like an up high view. I wish every game was like this. What is my D-line doing though? They're not really rushing, guys. And then they take themselves out of the play. This is supposed to be a flip him over. Oh, the right guard false started. Not now. Wait for it. Yeah, he moved a little bit. Alright, so now... QB sneak. Whenever you see the quarterback's leg that far out, it's a QB sneak because he's trying to get the power to get into the end zone. So he's trying to reach back to get explosion when the ball gets hiked. Because if you stand normally, you're not going to have the explosion to get in. The nose guard is a yard off of the ball. Let's see if that affects them. Nah, doesn't seem to right now. Kyler just throws this up. This is a bad pick, guys. This was on purpose. And I remember after he threw this pick, he was literally smiling, having a time of his life. Because he knows this stuff is fake. He knew before the game he had to lose the game. So once as a player, you know like these games aren't real and you got to lose and win and depending on what the league wants, you tend to not take this stuff seriously. And that's what I'm seeing with Kyler. He doesn't take this seriously. He's like, yeah, whatever. I get $200 million, I get to play Call of Duty and play football, whatever. These games don't mean anything. That's the vibe I get from him. Threw it, oh, that should have been picked too, guys. He threw that late. Looked like 23 wasn't really trying to pick that off. Look at him. 23 wasn't really trying to pick that. Because he easily could have. If we're being honest, oh, wow, guys. One yard off. Almost two, almost two. Let's see if this affects them. Look at these guys, not even getting there. Little hug tackle. Alright. Now they're lined up properly on the D line. Could it be that they're going to get there this time? Nope. Look at my DN crashing inside. Crashes right inside. Like, what are you doing, bro? Oh, you're just trying not to get there. Gotcha. Just checking. Man in his face, but it doesn't matter, though. Overthrown. Yeah, he wasn't trying to get there. AJ Green can get that, bro. He just wasn't trying to. Like, that ball is just hanging. Like, it was hanging, bro. 18 wasn't really running there. I'd love to see 18 play with Tom Brady. I'd love to see him over there. Or even Green Bay. Wide open. How about that? When you're covering for 19 seconds, it's almost impossible. So, can't really blame those guys, man. Can I?
now we got an outside rusher taking an inside release and then going back outside. That literally took away two seconds from him to get there, so he's not going to get there. Right when I saw him make that inside move and then go back out, I knew he was just trying to buy time for the quarterback to get the throw off. Like, you tell these guys that their life is on the line, their job is on the line, they would play way differently. They would say, F this ring, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. What did my D-tackle do here? Or not do? Oh, he's not... So you move your nose guard off of the nose? I don't get this. So Oh, they're in a 4-3, alright. And then this guy covered the nose. I see what they did, never mind, I take that back. I still would like a nose on the center, because this is what happens when you put your backer or your safety on a center. He gets driven back 10 yards. That's why I like a nose guard. Center on a middle backer, that's a mismatch. In a run play. Yeah, that left end, or right end, took yourself out of the play, because technically, you see what he did there, how he just came in? This guy is supposed to just stay out there. Because when this happens right here, now you're gone. This is where you're supposed to be. You see where he's running? That's where your end is supposed to be. But right now, he's getting up off the ground because he chose to crash in and dive at nothing. That's what happens when you don't do your responsibility. You give up 25 yards. And now you defend the goal line against another QB sneak, which he is... Getting in again. Ain't that pathetic. Jalen Hurts is one of my QBs for uh, fantasy. He's been getting me a lot of wins. Single-handedly. So I'm not complaining. Where, Bro, look at these guys get driven back. Look at this guy. That's a 400-pound man, guys. Getting manhandled. Or he's just allowed... Look at his feet. He's allowing this to happen, guys. That's a 400-pound man. Looking, Look at him, bro. Look at him just allow this guy to just push him back. It's one guy. That guy is not that much stronger than you, bro. I'm sorry. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it, bro. He's backpedaling and helping the guy block him. That's all that was. They just tell, in the huddle, they just say, hey, this time you back off. Or this time you crash inside to give up the edge. They, that's what they do. They help each other out to give the desired outcome. And that's all they do. The offense communicates with the defense. Like, it's not real football. Like, they know what each other is doing. Like, the offense knows what defense the defense is in and vice versa. So they know what to leave open and what to cover and vice versa. Like, it's a freaking game. It's a joke. It's a game between the offense and defense. Look at my end. Did a decent job, but where's my D tackle at? Oh, he's getting driven back to the inside. Giving up the A and B gap. How about that? You gotta love that. You gotta love 400 pound men getting dominated. Nice tackle. Not. Not. That's two in a row. Can we get one here? Nah! This is a rigged touchdown. How does a play that's a freaking 5, 10 yard reception turn into a 30 yard touchdown? Oh, it's because the league is fake. That's why. Tom Brady said it himself. It's been a lot of bad football. All you've been seeing is bad, bad football, man. They drop their D tackles, who are backers. All right, what's going on over here, though? Where's my D end? Sits, waits, and then runs out. Our corner takes us off out of play. Runs into the block. Ay ay ay. My D end is running in. Let's see what he does. JJ. Yeah, they, this is just to make JJ Watt look great. So you don't block JJ Watt. Look at the, bro, look at the left tackle. Why would you not kick back and block? Instead of kicking back and blocking the best 
player on their defensive line. Look what he does. Who are you even blocking? You're blocking your own player. Meanwhile, you let J.J. Watt right through. It's because they want to make him look great on this play. There's certain plays during the game where they have certain guys do whatever they want. It's like, all right, we need J.J. to look great on this play. Just let him right through. Just go block no one. That's what they do. J.J. probably told him, all right, this is my turn this time. Just go inside. And the guy goes inside and lets him run right through. Like, come on now. Anyone else buying that? I'm not. Look at this terrible tackle attempt. I didn't even know it was going to happen. I was just guessing. Because it happened so much. Look at our DN. 23. He's been letting a lot go by. Now... They rush and take themselves out of the play. And then Kyler throws a high pass, puts his receiver in danger. That might be a fumble. Catches it one, two, and then hits the ground. That might be caused by the ground, though, guys. Or it's incomplete. Uh, yeah, this is a mid play, so we don't know what the hell happened there. We'll go to the next play. Oh, he fumbled, guys. This man fumbled. Oh, no, never mind. I thought he did. That's a hold right there, guys. That block that was made on 33 was a hold, but they're not going to call that because they need Carolina, or excuse me, they need the Cardinals to drive. I don't know why I said Carolina. Wide open. Look at how no one guards the flats. Like, at all. No one guards the flats. And then look at the, the D-tackle right here, guys. Notice how this guy, instead of straight rushing, he opens up this way so that he gives Kyler Murray a view of the field. They do this a lot for the shorter guys that are supposed to have decent games. You'll notice D-tackles moving out of the way so he can have a view and vision of where he's trying to throw. That's all that is, guys. The defense helping the offense while trying to pretend and maintain like it looks like you're defending them. It's choreographed. It's all in unison movement. I just want to get to that play at the end where Kyler acts a fool. Watch this. Look at our D-tackle from before and just get dominated. Now let's look at our right D-tackle. Just run to a side, runs to the B gap. So both D tackles run to the B gap. So that means the whole A gap is wide open in the middle. They both go to the B gap. Well, the one on the right tried to get to the A gap, just didn't. That's awful. It's very hard to watch, man. Now they cover up the nose. It's like they pick and choose when they're covering the nose. Like, the nose should be covered, like, 90% of the time. Because you don't want your center to have a free release on whoever he wants. Like, are we really saying this? The DNs take themselves away. And then number 57 looks like he dived early, so he couldn't get there. Now Arizona has to kick it, click it, tick it, click it, tick it, and right through. Look at this guy get dominated and knock it off the block. The whole D-line did, actually. If you look at the D-line, nobody gets off. Look at the nose guy. It's been like that all game, number 91, getting his butt kicked. He's getting his butt kicked, bro. They're in the zone because no one's following him. Now the quarterback knows, but... Where is my flat player? So our DN sits there. DN, what does he do? Oh, instead of... He just stays in no man's land. Instead of rushing or going... 
to a man who just sits in no man's land. Now you see this guy reacting. Let's see what happens. Oh, instead of running straight, he goes out. <laughs> like, what are we doing? And then the softest tackle in the world. This guy is just not even moving. He's not even trying to, like, fight to make a move to get off. He's just like, right, you guys got me here. I'm going to just run on this treadmill and make it look like I'm fighting. Even though I'm not. He went inside out instead of outside in. This guy go outside the block, outside the block, outside the block. Because that's what happens when you go inside. You take a hit or you can't get there. Like, they just make the same mistakes over and over and over and over again. Yeah, this guy was in a bind. But really, he wasn't, though, because he had this guy. So this guy would be, essentially be able to cover this guy and that guy if he goes on a 45, stay in between them. And then this guy, stay in between this guy and that guy. If he stayed like, right here, he probably would have been able to make the play. Yeah, he definitely would have been able to make the play. If he was standing two yards to the right, like I said, he'd already be on him. Think about those two yards he would have had. Every yard, every inch makes a difference, bro. It may mean so small, such a small of a detail, but it means a lot. That's right through the middle. Look at this guy right here, guys. Number 97. Watch 97. Beats the block, and it sits there, guys. Actually, you know what? He was actually smart because he realized that they let him right through. Yeah, so he realized 57 let him through, so he's like, wait, hold, him up. hold up a minute. And then he realized this is a screen, so he's the only one, actually. I, I take back what I said initially. But then he doesn't make the play. Then he just lets the guy run by him. He reads the play and then just sits there. Like, I just praised him and then I have to take it back again. You see, you can't praise anyone in this. You can't praise anyone in the NFL. Right, 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 sure, sure. So he couldn't bring this little guy down, sure. I know he's fast, but he was standing still. It's not like he was running. Like, you're telling me he's not strong enough to pull him down? Like, stop. I'm not even going to pretend to believe that. Look at this DN pretending to slip. Let me guess, to give him extra time? It doesn't matter though. What is my right tackle doing? Oh, taking a terrible angle. He literally turned his shoulder all the way back on my... 180 degree angle basically letting the guy right through he was basically facing the opposite pylon what is my man Watt doing man what is my man JJ Watt doing you telling me he doesn't know how to rush properly it's gone that far that we're saying JJ Watt can't rush properly right 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 Center fall started. Our left end takes itself out of the play. And that's why this is going to be a decent game. Decent game because your DN flies on and jumps at nothing. And then right over his head. They blitz the house. The guy on the right runs right by him. But then the other guy gets there. There was just too much here I think. They blocked more than they can... They blitzed more than they can block. But this guy ended up blocking no one. 14. There was a lot that went wrong on that. Like, I could really dissect to see who, whose fault this is, but... Yeah, so this guy should have just taken a guy on the edge. 14 should have just taken this edge guy. And then you'd have just one guy coming uh, free instead of two guys. 
Because 14 ends up blocking no one. And then two guys come free instead of one. So, 14 needs to block one of those edge guys. So, it's just quarterback versus that one guy. And he can try to make him miss. But if it's two guys, he's probably going to go down. All right, where's my left end over here? What is he doing? That's not something you would do there. Like, if anything, you would fight outside of him. You wouldn't face him and then not see what's going on here and push him. That's not what you would do. What is this guy doing? Get off of him, bro. You got two blockers coming at you. You got to make a play here. Look at this guy. Is that really my defensive end? Hold on. Let me see what he's doing. Get off. This is his play to make. Now he's on the ground. No edge, no chance. Like, that's just terrible, man. You wouldn't do that. Now they run a slant. But it looks like a, a bump route slant. Let's see. They run a bump route, I think. A rub. Yeah, he rubs into this guy. It's a pick. A natural pick. Wide open. On the quick passes, it's very hard to see anything that happens wrong on the D-line because it's just so quick. It's just boom, boom. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. What are we doing? Both of our ends just took a playoff, and that's what happens. Like, they literally both took a playoff. No man's land, number 94. And then what happens over here? Look at this guy. Flailing his arms and takes a shit angle. It's the worst angle in the world. Just go this way. Go this way. He goes way too far down. You better watch this guy. That guy can get the ball. And they do a fake. What is going on, though? Like, what's up with the D-line? Like, this guy runs into a double team, but then look at his feet. Yeah, they're, they're not really trying to fight. They ain't trying to fight. Look at number two. He just lets him run out of bounds. Hit that guy, man. Don't let him just run out of bounds. Like, how could you just let him run out? Where's my D-tackle? Oh, he shoots the A-gap. What are we doing, bro? What are we doing? Why would you shoot the A-gap here? Why wouldn't you just straight rush? So he's the only one slanting. So I know for a fact 93 did his own thing. Because you would see this guy slant, that guy slant. He's the only one who slants left. Everyone else does a straight rush, so it's his fault that this happens. The end can only close the end so far down. It's this guy right here. Shoots inside when he should just be going straight. If he went straight, guys, he makes the play. All he has to do is just stay in his gap. But he shoots to an opposite gap that's already covered by someone. It just doesn't make sense. Like, at all. That average fan ain't gonna know that. They're not gonna know that the D-tackle vacated a freaking gap and gave that up. And looks like it happened here, too. Yeah, look at this guy. Opposite A-gap he is right now. 93 is in the opposite A-gap when he should be holding his ground on the hash right here. He should be on this hash. Keeping that hole from happening. But instead, his back is facing us. And the hole is wide open. It's pretty bad, guys. It's bad football. He does it again, guys. Look at him. Starts, so he starts in the B gap. So right now, if he rushes straight, he's fine. He, so he's in the B gap. He ends up all the way where the A gap is, guys. Watch this guy. Happens to him twice. But this time he went there. He decided to go in that direction. Now they drive him to the opposite A gap. Middle is wide open, guys. That's all that is. It's just fundamentals not being met. They blitz late. 
terrible tackle attempt. We're getting close to the stupid play, the boneheaded play of the game. Like, what's up with these D tackles? Look at him. He goes opposite A gap when he's already in the gap he needs to be. It's like 94, 93. Don't know what they're doing on the D line at all. Or they're, be or they're giving clear instructions to vacate their gap on purpose. It's very possible. Bro, they've done like three or four QB sneaks and have converted all of them. Well, we know they don't score here. They score a field goal only. Whoa, that should have been picked off, guys. This is a terrible throw, guys. Like, if you, like, ponder. Like, throw to this guy. Throw it low. He should be throwing this low and let him catch it and run it in. He would have easily been able to catch him running in. He also had Dallas Goddard. If you pause right here, Dallas is wide open, too. So if he throws it to the sideline, Dallas can get it. If he throws it low and away, this guy can get it. Instead, he throws it in triple coverage because he's not trying to score. It's third down. He knows they're not going to pick it. He knows he has to get a field goal here. It's all about the points. Vegas told him to kick it, so they must kick it. They could have easily scored there if they wanted to, guys. Like This stuff is so fake. All right, here we go. This is the drive right here. So what are we doing here? So DN crashes inside. Blup, misses, takes himself out of the play. Well, then what happens with our D-tackle? Look at him. Look at our D-tackle. Instead of controlling his B-gap, he gets driven down to the A-gap. Leaves that wide open. So there's no DN and no D-tackle there. They're all pushed out of the play. Literally, he had a wide open right side because of those two guys. But the average fan would not know that. Now, would they? What happens here? No, this time they rushed okay, but the left end didn't really run in. All right. It's getting close to the boneheadness. The boneheadedness. What is my D-line doing? Uh, they're just rushing to pretend like they're getting in there. Got you. So at this point, it's a first down. They have no timeouts. At this point, you gotta like be thinking, it's time to kick this thing soon. Second and 10. Let's see what happens on this. I think this is the play. Let's see what happens. All right, look at the D-tackle, guys. So this D-tackle, instead of rushing like a normal person upfield, he runs all the way inside. So it leaves the whole middle wide open. Watch this guy. Like, why would you ever do that? Now he takes himself out of the play. The whole middle is open because of him. And then Kyler slides right there on purpose. He didn't have to slide there, guys. Guys, he could have... How many times have we seen him dive face first? So now with the game on the line, you're telling me he's sliding right there? Like, come on, man. Like, I'm not buying this. Like, I'm just not. Like, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Like, why not just take it outside? Like, if this was a real play, if this was a real play, guys, he's taking this outside and going to the out of bounds right to the first down. He's not going to stay inside. He was told to do this, guys. This is always... To the outside, 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 get out of bounds. Because you need to stop the clock. Sliding a yard short, which he did on purpose, doesn't help anyone. But Vegas and the NFL. And then he clocks it on third and one. It's third and one, the man clocks it. And so now they have to kick. So this is just a boneheaded play. Like This is just all drawn up. And then now we know what happens with this nonsense. Let's watch the NFL sail the ball. Let's watch this. Sometime t t t today. There we go. And then it sails. Yeah, okay. I'm seeing a helmet come off. Whose helmet was that? Oh, it was that guy. 
So that's a hands to the face that they didn't call there, obviously. Yeah, that was just the NFL just taking that thing. That's all that is. They they pulled that guys. Like it was going straight. Literally it's going straight right now and then it gets taken away. It's just ridiculous, man. But if you think that's real, <laughs> I can't help you. I really cannot help you if you think that's real, guys. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and sub.